got uh, some comment from some of you who needs an uh, explanation on how to use our markdown tool in our studio so the best way to do you can find your uh, register and login to our cloud software our cloud i think it is the it is what i'm using and uh, i think you can also try to use it so if you need to use you can you click on a uh, other notebook then uh, you upload your data to upload your data you click upload so you can see you have to click upload for the data to be uploaded i think it is the the best way to do it then if you don't want to use your command you to don't use command you can use import data then it is in form of a it is in form of a text based since it is in csv so you click text based then uh, you choose the data i think in our case it is named uh, supermarket sales data for those who need to use a command how to use command to upload your data in r and r studio so you have to start with your data name so this is my data name supermarket sales data then you have to use r to read it if it is in the form of excel you have to read it in excel not you don't need to put this you have to put dot excel x l s x s x whole b x x x l yeah whatever the format you use in so you have to put dot so then the file location our location the file is located in any cloud and uh, in project yeah that's why i am using it so the other step you we have to do is uh, we have to load our necessary tools so for those who don't have the tools uh, for those who have just registered or logged in to their studio you can use click tools and uh, you can find the and start you can type the tool name so in my case i'm using the only two five two i'm using just two two of the tools which are dp lyre and uh, ggplot yeah for for just plots so the other thing after this uh, you have to check for missing values in my case we are i'm using na yeah in case it is not a in case the command finds n n a or not applicable in my case it will show it will show then i will have to change and find ways to eliminate i can delete use i can delete the values uh the variables with a missing variable variables all i can just eliminate them i can fail to use them in my data so in my case uh, after that you, you can check for data data type using the str command after this then the next step is just to describe your data you see in descriptive you can also some people may call it a uh, descriptive statistics you see in r the same command for r r studio uh, applicable to r so you can see i've used a summary and uh, brackets and my data name then my other step is a uh, how to just uh, plot in an histogram for let's I'm plotting for only one variable and i'm using a variable named uh, tax dot five dot so you don't worry when you see dot dot so that's what i'm using so you can 
check on your you can check you can see the command i'm using okay so on after this the next the other step will be just a a need in our data to inform format we need this can be either in a html pdf or in word so after needing my your data i think you will be able to export it to to your pc in, to your pc maybe in in uh, your downloads then uh, i think you will be able to see your command the interaction of your command and the output so i think uh, this is the recent way and the most uh, preferred way for people because uh, when you are dealing with uh, people who don't know uh, or who are not familiar with commands who or oh, maybe you are dealing with people maybe you are dealing with uh, young people who are not maybe exposed to commands maybe that's why we are using it maybe in a uh, most cases you are maybe an instructor might ask you to load your data to provide uh, your output and uh, command you have gotten yes in uh, r studio so this is the only way we can do it so those who are wondering why i've clicked a uh, visual yes, in visual i think you can be able to edit you can be able to type but uh, it's not necessarily visual you can also use a uh, source you can uh, type it type your command you can type a not command you can type an explanation or anything you need to know yeah but in my case you see i've gotten an error which says uh, maybe mini i'm using the variable is not a uh, cannot be found but i've known why the reason is i've not finished i completed with a dot because uh, in my case the variable is named tax dot five dot so in my case this are uh, successful so as i said before as i said earlier so what the last step will be i'll need in our data and to need it you click on preview and you may use any form you need you can use a, either a pdf word or html so after needing your data you have to see it in the cloud because after needing your data you must see it on cloud if you don't see it then the file has not been needed yeah so you can see i've got in a rm drm and html so we can try a different perspective using a pdf i think uh, we'll be able to